know, our history has been um, quite mixed. We had a little Spanish, some Indians, um, of course the Brits, uh, we were part of the British Commonwealth. And then we have our, all our African traditions. And of course, more important than all of them, we are true West Indians. So we like our carnival and our, our partying and, and very proud people. The social side of Antigua Sailing Week is a big deal for the competitors and islanders here. Carnival pulls everyone together. are fueled by barbecued lobster and tasty chicken plus a few beers of course there's an amazing array of silverware for the winners here which the regatta volunteers those unsung heroes of this event are polishing to perfection the big prize is the elegant Lord Nelson trophy on the water, two boats are battling for the top spot in racing class one and perhaps overall glory. This year we see we have uh, Nicholas Enstrom's 72 foot maxi Ran, uh, who has come specially straight from Sydney, from the Sydney Hobart to race in Antigua. Ran is um, a 72 foot mini maxi racing yacht, which is designed by Rolf Froelich and built by Green Marine in the UK. They'll be up against uh, Tom Hill's new maxi Titan 15. Uh, Tom Hill is a regular Antigua Sailing Week and his red boat was an iconic boat in the Caribbean. Here we have really uh, Titan which is the only boat we're, which has had boat to boat racing with us but this actually makes it more fun because then we're engaged in almost basically match racing. So those two boats will be battling out at the top. We're here to win for sure. Well, it's fantastic. Good close racing, uh, the way we want, really the way we want to have it. So good close racing. The guys at Titan is really, really good, and as with boats are very even, so it couldn't be better. Our next report is on the cruising classes, where the winner gets to keep this amazing Leinfelder watch. What's it worth? Thirty thousand U.S. dollars to you, my friend. But you've got to be in it to win it. <laughs> 